Hi guys, I'm Asaf. This is Itai, and today we're going to react to Church by Asterism, an instrumental piece and a live studio recording. Yeah, we've done them a couple times before, so yeah. this is a return to Asterism. Definitely a sad mood somewhat. I can easily imagine this is part of some uh, private detective movie or, or something like that. You mean something a bit uh, noir? Yeah, something like that. But uh, it, 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 there's, uh, it changes, it shifts gears. Um, I, I thought what I, I, what I said, I thought it at the beginning, but now I kind of think uh, it takes us into a slightly different direction. Than what I but it is a bit somber, you know. Yeah, it it's is somber. Yeah. Kind of dark. Yeah. It, it actually it made me think of you know how in the nineties you know we had some uh, um, instrumental tracks that were big hits, mm -hmm. you know, like a couple of uh, 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 tracks by like Kenny G and you know Dave Stewart from Eurythmics. He had that mm -hmm. Lily was here, which was an awesome song. Yeah. Uh, an awesome instrumental. There were a few others. Um, it just made me think that this, if released at that time. Could have been a, a big hit, you know. Today, I'm not sure. I don't know about charts and stuff like that these days. I've sort of stepped away from that. Yeah. But um, yeah, just such an awesome sound. Like you can listen to this and, yeah. and enjoy it, like just like any yeah. other song uh, with lyrics. You know. Yeah, I um, think. Yeah, as an instrumental piece, I think it, it depends on what you subjectively assign it to in your head when you're trying to figure it out. When I said it shifts gears, it, it kind of turned from from somber into maybe pensive i mean it is it is titled church um so i i kind of even if it's not really like a religious thing it's it's kind of a a thinking track you know their yeah. church or the church they're referring to might not necessarily have to do with god you know it could be yeah. just where they feel the most spiritual yeah. um which could be the studio or the stage or yeah. you know anything like that i'm not sure again having no lyrics you you don't really know exactly what they were thinking you just kind of get a feeling yeah. um which is also kind of i assume why instrumentals don't become big hit these days because you know the most of the sort of buying power is really with young people yeah. and um they would probably not have the patience to sit through a full song that yeah. doesn't speak to them in a way you know like lyrically yeah so. because you have to fill in the entire meaning it needs to come from yeah. you, from, from the listener. Now I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Yeah.
started sad and then shift gear into, like I said, pensive. In my in in the scenario I I brought up a private detective, it shift gear a third time, and that's the part in my head where the detective where where the shrooms that the detective took earlier <laughs> kicked in. <laughs> I'm I'm not hearing psychedelic here. I'm just uh, maybe parts of like it. A, like this yeah. like this awesome jam session. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. at, at, at one point it's like they were just really jamming, you know, to it. Yeah. Um, they are just so skilled, though. Yeah, es- especially especially the bass and and of course her on the guitar. Um, wow, yeah. some of the things they're doing. It's just like this is so awesome. Yeah, when she goes into the into to those magnificent solos, uh, Halka, I mean, um, it feels like she has a lot to say. She's delivering something through those solos, and, and it's like something you need to decipher where it's coming from. Is it, is it pain? Is it determination? It's interesting. No lyrics makes for 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 a different experience. I feel like you know when she's playing like slower, like in the beginning and everything, it's like she's talking, yeah. And then when she goes into that kind of trance, it's like she's she's yelling or screaming or you know what I yeah, mean, like she's yeah, yeah. expressing it more uh, loudly, I guess. Yeah. If that was the voice, but yeah. Yeah, and there's something to be said about virtuosities. Um, many performers when when they when they start, at least that's what I'm seeing. Um, the this the segments where they get the shine with the uh, uh, intricate solos. Sometimes it seems like the entire piece revolves around those intricate solos because they want to show how well they can play. But in here, mm-hmm. the, the the solos and, and the entire piece, it's it's well thought out. It's a part of everything. You don't oh, feel like organic. she's trying. Yeah, it's more organic. Yeah, that's the that's what I was looking for. You, you, you can you can feel that that a lot of thought went to put in the, those specific segments in that piece. Yeah, and in the previous two that we covered them. Um... One was an instrumental and one was uh, yeah. not. Lyric. Yeah. Um, and, and I expressed that I prefer them in the instrumental, even though I like both. I mm. do prefer them in the instrument. This this strengthened that for me um, because it just feels like a like a like something deeper. Um, I, I actually feel more from their instrumentals than I do from, from uh, you know, when, mm. when she sings and there's lyrics and all the rest of it. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe it's the material. Um, but just with the instrumentals, they are wow. Yeah, I think I, I don't have a, a, a specific preference because uh, our exposure, my exposure to them, is quite limited. We this is the third time we've reacted to to one of their. Uh, pieces. I'm 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 strictly talking about the three we've seen yeah. so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it how Miu brought back the somber part with his seven string bass guitar. <laughs> I forgot he had seven strings in his bass. We t- I think we talked about one of the other um, yeah. ones we did. Um, he has seven strings, but it also looked like at times he had 15 fingers. Yeah. He has a very interesting technique, like style. It's very deliberate. Mm-hmm. It just looks like he's very also um, like patient with it, you know. He's yeah. like feeling the music. Yeah, it's really, really interesting to watch him in uh, something like a, of this speed, you know, because he yeah. gets to do it slow and fast. It, it also feels yeah. like the, the, this this specific type of bass 
what he can do requires this type of instrument. Not like he, yeah. he chose it and then yeah. learned how to play on it. Like he needed a uh, different type of bass. And it feels like he has um, a lot of creative input into what they do, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. They're a very interesting, very interesting band. Um, it, 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 like we don't know enough about them, and it's very kind of, I don't know, probably difficult to work out, you know, who does what, you know, sort of behind the scenes. Uh, but they're all so freaking good, you know, at, the, at their yeah. respective, um, you know, instruments. Yeah. And it's amazing what they can bring out with, with these instrumentals, you know, yeah. out of us, you know, out of the audience, out of the listener, viewer, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, they're pretty extraordinary. It's a great band. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. Share our stuff and help us grow our channel and encourage us to make more videos for you guys. Hit us up in the comments. What did you think about Church by Asterism? Did you like it? Let us know. Also, let us know what you'd like to see us do next. We will do our best to comply. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me a Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for sticking with us. And then the the sort of harder rock came into it and then yeah. the synth sounds yeah. you know started coming in and it was like oh it's like it's like uh, a goodness on top of goodness you know yeah. <laughs> like i'm loving this yeah, yeah. you kind of knew what to anticipate what i said at, at the beginning you, you see them like being uh ditzy and you, you kind of yeah. know that the that the roaring is gonna is, is is eminent thanks for everything guys we appreciate you so so much uh, we will try to come back with some more asterism soon and plenty other stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.